So my box actually just arrived yesterday during the full moon in Leo, but I wanted to wait until today to do some filming because yesterday was just the worst rain ever. So you guys would never have seen anything because it was so dark. Having said that, I mean, <laughs> all you're now seeing is just a reflection of my glasses, but whatever, we're here for the box, we're not here for me. I absolutely did not just drop that. <laughs> I'm really excited because we have another Elements box, so let's get started. So I'm very excited because I know that this month's box is not just an element theme but it's one of my favourite elements so I feel like we should just dive straight in and see what goodies we have. Ooh, ooh, okay, I'm seeing some slightly different packaging already, which is exciting. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be good. Okay, so this month's theme is the fire element theme, which you guys know I love fire, and it's so perfect because we have just had a full moon in Leo, and absolutely I love burning to release and cleanse things, so really excited about that. And we've kind of gone for this funky red flames on the front of this, so I'm very excited. So let's dive into the extras that we get. I'm gonna put all the kind of usuals that we know and love to one side just for a moment let me just get them out hang on Ooh, that looks exciting <gasps> what's that oh my god Ooh. oh my god this is so cool okay i'm gonna put all the usuals to the side and we're gonna start with something slightly different witch casket exclusive elemental altar cloth this is exciting it says on the back represent the elements of earth air fire water and spirit in your magical space with this exclusive altar cloth and then you've got all the elements at the bottom this is beautiful well i'm excited because we've obviously had an altar cloth before right so, ooh, this looks nice. Oh, it's heavy. This looks like it's gonna be really big. Oh my God, it's, it's huge. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Where have I gone? I don't know. This is enormous. Like how big is your altar? I love this. Literally, look how big that is. I, it could almost be a tapestry to hang rather than an altar cloth. It's gorgeous. So you can see we have earth, fire, spirit air and water at the bottom which is so pretty i really like that and it's on this lovely kind of cotton printed really nicely so i can't believe how big that is deb ella like this is like altar goals you know like <laughs> i already have a pretty big altar but it's like long and skinny so i, I I'm, I'm terrible at folding things look i have just folded that that is never going to fit back in there ever like ever but it's beautiful thank you so much that's really nice and how exciting. Okay, the next item we have is this, which I don't know what this is. What is this? Ooh, ooh, oh, I love this. Tongs. Can you see that in this light? Probably not. But we have these beautiful metal tongs and then on the side are the different elements, kind of reminiscent of that beautiful spoon that we got a few months ago, if you guys remember that. So I'm intrigued, like, what would you use these tongs for? I can't wait to see what they've suggested in the cheat sheet because I feel like technically you could use them for, like, sugar cubes or you could use them for, like, charcoal when you're stoking your fire. But, I mean, they would get really hot, right? So you don't want to burn your fingers off. But these are cool. <laughs> I mean, I can think of many uses for them, but certainly... <laughs> PG ones, so I will see what they've suggested in the box. Okay, let's take a look at this extra item here, which, oh wait, should we do this one though? What's this? Yeah, let's do this. What is this? Oh, this is cool. Okay, I don't know what this is. It says, witch casket exclusive. Carry your flame from one candle to another with witch casket's magical spill spills. Cedarwood spills, what is that? What does that mean? I don't know, is it a lighter? Maybe it's a little lighter or something. Oh, are they like matches? Wait a minute, let's see. How cool are these? Oh my god, this is so cool. I don't know what it is to tell you, but it's like really slim pieces of wood. And then you've got witch casket engraved here and then the elements here for fire, right? And they smell really nice. What do you do with them? I guess maybe you strike them or something? I'll like strike it incorrectly and then set fire to myself, won't I? So <laughs> let me read the instructions first. <laughs> That's really cool though, that's really different because I was thinking to myself for a fire element, how would they kind of represent the flame because it would be so much fun to have, you know, like a lighter or something. So they've obviously done that in a really safe way, I, I hope, <laughs> uh, so that you can, obviously it can go internationally, right? Because you can't really send like a lighter because of all the fluid and everything. So that's really clever, I like that ladies, that's a really good idea. All right, the next exciting item we have is a bowl, I presume. Obviously they've done a bowl for the other two elements, so I'd expect nothing less. And I really like that this one's wrapped in tissue. Uh, obviously we had, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. This is so cute. Look, we've got like a, 
a metal bowl this month and you won't be able to see it but I'll do a close-up for you but we have the actual element of fire on the side <gasps> love this oh my god I've literally just reorganized my room and I did have all of my witch casket stuff in four boxes that's three four boxes in a cupboard underneath my altar and I've changed that and I've now unpacked uh, a couple of things which I wasn't going to unpack but I have now and I've just got this beautiful cupboard now which has all my witch casket stuff in all my witchy things in so I'll show you guys that at the end of the video because it's so cute but this is so beautiful I love it absolutely obsessed with that that's so nice like I just used the spirit bowl for a self-love ritual that I led in circle uh, in a workshop I did a couple of days ago so, but this is cool I really like this one oh thank you ladies that's really beautiful okay is there anything else extra that I might have missed I don't think so so let's come to wait what's that shall we do this let's do the pin for the month I'm just gonna put the box there let's do the pin for the month which is really nice let me get it the right way up hang on it's turned there we go okay so we have this beautiful element of fire that's the word I'm trying to think of which has the obviously the upward sigil and then you have the beautiful flame like floating and licking around as flames do anyway but this is really nice this reminds me a lot of the wait is it the water one or the spirit one I think it's the water one I think yeah I liked the water one do you guys remember that one it's beautiful it reminds me of that I really like this and then on the back we've got the fiery pentacle which is really cool so yeah that's really cool I like it really nice like dusky red and orange which is lovely so that's really exciting I do love a good pin you guys know that I've also organized all of my pins in my new cupboard which I will show you guys it doesn't look very tidy but <laughs> It, I've done it I promise and then the next thing we have is dragon's blood cleansing spell contains everything you need to banish negative energy and it's quite chunky you know so I'm wondering if there's maybe some incense in here because we have had dragon's blood incense before which I really like I've pretty much used all of that oh no oh we've got charcoal burner oh this is exciting oh this is so cool look we've literally got a little bag of dragon's blood right we've got hang on and we've got charcoal discs here I don't know if you guys have ever worked with charcoal discs before you might have seen them in my altar video which I lit my charcoal incense and burnt some incense from Star Child in Glastonbury so it's kind of like that you light the, I wonder if I can use the lighters probably you can you light the charcoal and then when it's burning enough you just drop a bit of incense onto it so it says charcoal discs are used to burn herbs and resin and incense powder so light the disc with the lighter and then when it starts to spark you can pop a little bit of the dragon's blood resin in and then they've given you an affirmation so I just usually let mine burn out and the whole house is like choking with smoke <laughs> I'm like one of those people who's like smoke it up let's get rid of all these negative negative energies so this is cool I've I've never worked with dragon's blood resin before obviously we have had the incense so that's exciting let's give it a sniff and see I really like this smell oh yeah that smells good really nice oh that's exciting I'm definitely going to do that I did a massive cleanse and like cleanse the energy of the house a couple of days ago so I'll probably wait to use that I usually do it like once a month so I'll probably wait to use that next time that'll be exciting so I'm really looking forward to that okay let's see what our normal incense is for the month we have orange and peppermint oh that sounds good invoke the element of fire with this energizing incense blend light the incense and affirm fire ignite the passion in me fuel me with your energy really cute love love this so nice I don't think it's going to pick it up at all on camera because the light is too reflective today but I will do close-ups let me sniff that because I don't think we've had a peppermint blend before for incense oh I'm really bad at opening these boxes nicely do you know what I'm noticing as well it's like it looks black but I think it's like a dark brown which is cool let me just I've opened it upside down of course <laughs> Hang on. oh wow that smells really good you can really get the peppermint and the orange it's like really really fresh and then at the same time really sweet really cool let me just put that back in I really like that I organized my incense in my new cupboard and unfortunately the incense is too long for any of the drawers <laughs> so I've had to stick it kind of in an awkward angle at the bottom but that's fine because I use it so often I pretty much like incense every day if not every other day so I really like that one that's really really nice okay let's see what our tea is for the month elemental tea blend fire and I, am I showing you the right thing yeah okay <laughs> I'm an amateur it says connect with the element of fire with this magical blend of ginseng and ginger oh I do love ginger tea brew with intent and stir clockwise stir clockwise and affirm invoke the passion of fire energize me to fulfill my desire motivation is driving me as I will it so mote it be so I'm excited to try that I do really like oh I can smell the ginger you know I do really like ginger 
that's exciting. Okay, let's see what our print for the month is. Wait, is that upside down? Yeah, that's the right way around. <laughs> okay, so here we have another Witch Casket exclusive print. So you've got the pentacle in the middle and then almost like these wings raising up to the symbol for fire. And then obviously, I don't know, that's kind of cool actually. It's like grounding and rising at the same time. And then you've got the flames coming up and then on the back it says Witch Casket exclusive. That's nice. That's quite, that's quite calm and subtle actually for fire. Like it's quite calming. It feels warming. You know, with fire, you can either have like that over the top intensity or you can have like that really like nice nurturing warming element that's what this is bringing to me like nurturing and warming which I really like and I've also organized all of my cards and prints I, like I'm doing well <laughs> not normally this organized okay let's see what should we do next let's do the scroll with our lovely symbol for the fire there and let's see what we've got the elements of fire and magic so it's talking about the crystals the herbs and then what fire represents that's really nice will this show up possibly not it's quite light but yeah that's really cute i like that I'm definitely going to be using that storing those up as you guys know i like it because it kind of looks quite aged again you probably can't see that in, in the picture but it looks really aged which i really like so that's nice oh i'm really excited about this box okay let's see what our crystal is carnelian okay we've had carnelian before but this one has a beautiful symbol for fire just etched and then in gold you can just see you can't see it, I don't know what I'm saying. I will do a close up so you can see it. But it says carnelian is associated with the element of fire, believed to energize and promote courage. Carnelian can help us to feel empowered and overcome difficulties, calms anger and encourages self esteem. Nice. And it's a nice pocket sized one so you can just carry that with you if you like, which is lovely. Really, you know I'm into my crystals, so very happy with that one. Okay, we've got one item left. Believe it or not, that was really quick, wasn't it? We've got one item left, which is our spell for the month, which is a witch casket, witch casket, witch casket, witch casket, witch casket exclusive banishing fire ritual. It contains everything you need to banish and let go of things which no longer serve. This is why I love fire as an element. It's just so cool. I love like healing and releasing and letting things go because if you don't need it, See you later okay oh there's loads in here okay i think we've got a candle as well in here wait till you see how many candles i've got by the way <laughs> oh wow they're, they're getting serious today all right then okay we have rosemary do you love a bit of rosemary and we have a black black candle there we go you can see it now and we also have an iron nail like they ain't messing about this is real iron nail like you know it's serious witchcraft when they pop out the iron nails like they're not playing around there okay <laughs> I feel like this is going to be the banish banishing smell of spell of all banishing spells. So think carefully about what you'd like to banish and let go of. Yeah, so cool. So they're saying that once you've used everything in the spell, you can obviously return the herbs to the earth, but you can also hammer the nail into your front door. Unfortunately, I don't own this house, so I will not be able to do that just yet, but I will absolutely save it and use it for when I do eventually come on manifestation, get my own place. That will be cool to do that. I'm really excited by that. I love that they've given us that because, you know, rusty nails are just fantastic for like banishing and stuff. So thank you, ladies. I think that's a really badass spell. <laughs> Keep wanting to say smell. That's not cool. We're not doing smells. We're doing spells. Wow, so yeah, that's everything for this month. We've got loads of lovely things. I think that altar cloth is just huge. I feel like I would almost be tempted to use it as a tapestry and maybe hang it behind my altar, which would be really nice actually, uh, and just give like a beautiful backdrop. I think my favorite has to be the bowl. I just really love that they went for metal as opposed to ceramic, and I love ceramics, but I just feel like something about this just makes it really special because it's, it's just so different to the other ones, right? I love it. I'm excited. Let's read the cheat sheet and see what they say about everything. Oh, this is so cool. So, okay. I've got a lovely note inside and we always get a beautiful symbol or piece of artwork, which is really nice. So let's see. We have the brass altar bowl. So it's basically a brass cauldron. That's so cool. I'm really into that. I love that. Dragon's blood cleansing spell kit. Really enjoyed that. And I think that, oh wait, hang on a minute. It says here, be sure to use the charcoal tongs. So it's their tongs for the charcoal that is so handy oh my god what was i saying about like coal for the fire 
<laughs> we are great minds look alike here so yeah you can which is so good because i very often burn myself yeah I, I think that's going to be a beautiful tapestry that would be i mean even be really nice framed to be honest but i definitely you know like this like i love having that kind of backdrops really nice so the charcoal tongs which is so great and then you can pop them and light them and then carefully do them so cedarwood spills obviously i haven't heard of these before so let's see what it says carry your flame from one candle to another with which caskets exclusive magical spills lighting your candles with cedarwood can add extra potency to your magic interesting so i really don't know how to use it so do i need to strike it on something or do i just light it from a fire maybe and then do that i'll ask i'll ask them or i'll google it banishing fire ritual quick contains everything you need to banish and let go of things i'm so down for that i think that's the coolest spell elemental incense of fire love that it smells amazing the tea blend definitely excited to drink the tea like i used to really not like ginger at all it used to give me like a really itchy throat but these days it seems to have changed and hello love it love it now elemental crystal the carnelian yep beautiful the elemental pin the elemental pin which i think is really cute i really like the design they've done for that this month and they've also gone for the pinchy pinchy back as opposed to the plastic push on back which i think both are fine uh, but i do think that these probably are a little bit more secure so i'm pleased they've kind of referred back to those the element of fire in magic parchment scroll which is really beautiful i think that would be really nice in fact it'd be so lovely wouldn't it to have an altar and to be able to put each of the element scrolls up next to the altar that would look beautiful and then finally we have the fire magic art print which as i said just feels like really calming i really like that and then on the back of course we have featuring your highlights with some lovely pictures from some other witches is. that's so exciting what do you guys think of this box i think it's beautiful and i was really excited that they were doing another element box so soon because obviously we only recently had the spirit box i think it was in december which was beautiful and i liked that a lot so yeah i'm so excited by that bowl like i can't wait to use that basically a cauldron i mean that's the coolest thing ever and i want to show you my witchy cupboard which i've put together which has all of my jars my incense my herbs my art prints like everything in one place which i'm so excited about so i'm going to show you that now so here is my lovely cupboard that i just recently unpacked that had been something that i had for two christmases that i hadn't put anything in yet and i thought you know what let's turn it into my witchy space so i'm going to show you all the different bits i have in all the different shelves so in this drawer we have all of the scrolls from each month and the decks that we've had in some of the boxes this one has all of the art prints and the the altar tarot card holder and the new moon intentions book we've had this one has all of the spells in so if i've done a spell i've kept the card but also any of the spells i haven't finished or if i have any leftover herbs and things in there as well this drawer has all of my candles yes there are a lot of candles <laughs> i've also got my wax melt in there as well but i actually have so many i couldn't fit them in the box that i have at the back here so i've just had to put them in like that this one has all of my herbs in so i've got dried rose petals yarrow marigold bay leaves things like that in there in here are all of my excess altar items so you can see the beautiful brass bowl for this month's box the gorgeous sun catcher we had a few months ago altar mats and this is a beautiful terrarium i have which i haven't opened yet because it's very fragile and in the drawers down here we have all of my resin incenses and then my extra glass jars for spells and some of the essential oils we've had and I found an old sage stick when I was unboxing. This one has the tongs from this month in, the wonderful water aura spray that we had, the spirit spoon that we received. In here are all of the pins and the crystals that we get each month. You can see I've just put those in. I've also got some of the key rings and things as well that they've sent us. And then I've just got some excess bags in here and just some extra altar items I'm not using in here. And then in this one, it's a bit messy, but I've got a couple of glass and ceramic items that are a bit fragile here. And then my incense sticks, I could literally only fit them in here. I tried them in a few drawers, but they were just too long or too wide. And then a couple of extra altar shelves and our mug from last month. So yeah, I'm really happy with how everything looks. I think this is a really gorgeous space to put all of my witchy things in and I'm excited to use it. Just casually got these on my lap. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe so that you can become part of our growing community. And I will see you in next week's video. I'm just like covered in fluff now. Oh, that was such a good box. I'm so happy. Yeah. How, oh, I need to brew with intent and stir clockwise to and affirm. And stir clockwise and affirm. Invoke the passion of fire 
and I feel like my glasses are way too reflective. <laughs> Ignore the reflectiveness of my glasses. Okay, so my box actually arrived yesterday on the full moon in Leo, which I thought was just so beautiful. So I, which was, I, so my box actually arrived yesterday during the full moon in Leo. And so I'm only just getting, but I'm only just able to, 